children of God who President Akufuado and his party thought them worthy of employing at the Jubilee House. They are endorsing the violence that were foisted and hoisted on UTV, the media, the press. They are endorsing it. And they are still opposed. It speaks volumes. See, words can come and say, we are sorry, we condemn it in no uncertain terms. But really, while they still remain at post, it tells you that the government has endorsed it. Why am I saying that? Go to, go to the Flagstaff House. ASP Nankan Bruce. ASP Nankan Bruce, a, a serving senior policeman. He was chased off and beaten like a thief at the Jubilee House. Play the video for me. Let's play ASP Nankan's video. Today I came to play videos. Play the video for me. The CCTV footage from the Jubilee House. Play the video for me. people the video take my face off the tv Too much time, but this is what happened to ASP Nanka Bruce at the Jubilee House. Now, some people call it Jubilee House. It happened to him. Did the government ever issue a statement on it? No. Jubilee House and ASP, two star on his shoulder, two star Jubilee House. It didn't stop there. Take me to the court. They went to an open court with a pregnant judge in open court. And they freed their own set of hoodlums and hooligans. Play for me, open court. one what you're seeing is not the open court this happened to the late dr anthony osaya kuto former deputy finance minister he was also chased like a thief and beaten by these same hoodlums what did the government say about it what exactly did the government say about it he was chased and beaten like a, a thief Let's go to the Ashanti region. National Security Coordinator, play for me. This was the second time that they were chasing a national security coordinator for the Ashanti region representing the president because the president Nana Dodanko Kufado is the coordinator, he is the boss, the chairman of our national security council. They chased him also like a thief, a former COP of police, 
a, a lawyer for that matter. That was the second time they were chasing. And there were traces of Galamse in there and conversation about Galamse. What happened? Around that same time, about 11 people were arrested at Galamse sites. They said they were national security people with guns and all of that. You remember that? What has happened? Around that same time, 436 sidearms, pistols, were intercepted at the, at the, uh, at the harbor. What happened to that? Take me to the court. <laughs> The judge is the woman they are talking about in Chi. They called the judge a fool. They called the judge a fool. As one of their own kingpins went to an open court and called the judge there uh, stupid. Nothing happened. I can go on and on and on. There was a policeman who was assaulted. Show me that screenshot. A policeman was assaulted somewhere in the Jumaku. See, a, a, a police was assaulted by the DCE and thugs. He told the story. What happened? They, so there, there's been a certain level of consistency in all of this. Now take me to UTV. Play the video for me. <laughs> We are here today. Now we have seen that the show is sent to a politics. Yes, the political so. So we are from MPP. We are we are from MPP. We are here today. Yes, we are police police you to organize us in the army. Police tell you to organize us. Police tell you to We are here today. 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 So this was what happened at UTV. Hoodlums. Police says they have arrested and they issued a statement and all of that. Ministry of Information says we have issued a statement. MPP says we disassociate ourselves. But you heard them. They said we are MPP people. A similar thing happened at Dagbon. Dagbon TV. A similar thing happened at Radio Adan. And you ask yourself the question, what really is going on? Why would people feel emboldened to associate themselves with a political party that says we are capitalists, we belong to the elitist society? Because when you mention an MPP, that's it, we have the men. The men will be lawyers and engineers and doctors. And so how would you find riffraffs like this associating with the party and fomenting trouble? It means there's something somewhere. Is this the MPP? I'm not too old. But since I started covering elections in this country in 2004, since 2004, I have not seen an MPP like this before. How did it become so attractive to be violent? A violent MPP, how did it become so attractive? How did it become so attractive? How, how did it become so attractive? And when you talk about these things, they tell you, oh, uh, you know, the criminal libel law was uh, repealed by... President Kufo, when the Nado Dankwe Kufado was Attorney General. Fact. What was the criminal libel law? What was the criminal libel law? 
And since it was repealed, and you know that the tricky thing is that when it comes to the repeal of the criminal libel law, even though President Kufo was the president at the time, he he's not giving credit. The credit is given to President Akufuado. But in this government, even if fisheries ministry does something, credit goes to the president. That's the hypocrisy. But criminal libel law was repealed. We were all happy, 2001. And then fast forward to 2001, the president's wife, the first lady, somebody said something about him that they didn't like, that they thought was untrue. They had the access of the court to take a defamatory case against that person. They didn't. They used the national security to go and pick up that radio presenter in the dead of the night. The president has not said anything about it, but he is credited for repealing the criminal libel law. So you repeal the law from the, front, from the face of the, of the documents, but really, in, in practice, what are you practicing? I'm telling you, President Akufuado's wife, Rebecca Akufuado, somebody said, sat on radio and said something that she didn't like. They used national security to go and pick him up. They could have used what was criminal about it. They could have used the, the, the civil process. They failed to use the civil process. The matter was actually taken to court by the same state institution. And when you finish, come and tell me that he repealed the criminal libel law. Apu? Apu to? Your actions are showing differently. Pull up Article 162 for me. Where a political party now decides to write to a media house. A party made of lawyers. And the president was a human rights lawyer. Reku Brobe went to court with Radio I. Because they said they would not allow him to set up Radio I. Guess who was his lawyer? Nana Dodanko Ekufuado. Freedom and independence of the media. Freedom and independence of the media are hereby guaranteed. That's one. Two. Subject to this constitution and any other law not inconsistent with this constitution, there shall be no censorship in Ghana. That was how that useless letter that was written to UTV well, and I'm not surprised, I will not be surprised if other media houses have received it, but they have not been bold enough to put it out. Three, there shall be no impediments to the establishment of private press or media or in particular, and there shall be no law requiring any person to obtain a license as a prerequisite to the establishment or operation of a newspaper, journal, or other media for mass communication or information. This was on the, the basis for which uh, Dr. Reku Brobi went to court, and his lawyer is Nanaku Fuado. In that matter, go and read it. Editors and publishers of newspapers and other institutions of the mass media shall not be subject to control or interference by government, nor shall they be penalized or harassed for their editorial opinions and views or the content of their publication. So the person who wrote that letter is illiterate of the law. It's an illiterate of the law. Play President Akufado's video telling us that he rather likes a noisy media. Play his video. Let's remind him. I will say again. I must prefer the noisy, boisterous, sometimes scurrilous media of today to the monotonous, praise-singing, sycophantic one of yesteryear. This was President Akufado at the World Press Freedom Day. At the time when he was speaking, press freedom was dropping. Play Prophet Odro's video for me. Play it. Sister. There are people who, I mean, I was shocked that a letter was written from the current government to UTV, telling UTV, UTV, uh, take out, we don't like the entertainment, we don't like this guy on the entertainment show, we don't like, you are determining to a private TV station who you like and who you don't like. No wonder Dan Kwan Sam has been removed on Thursday afternoon. No wonder. Somebody can sit at home and be making instructions. I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. Nonsense. No wonder. Afternoon they have taken such a content and threw it away. And they replace it with movies. Movies. A woman is lying on a man. Movies. Let me tell you, the fact that you are my mother doesn't mean I can't tell you truth. Yeah, I don't care who you are. The 
fact that you are my wife doesn't mean I cannot look you in your eye and tell you truth. Please. You want to take us off completely? Take it off. But the truth will be spoken. Mark Twain said it. He said, the truth is incontrovertible. Knowledge may attack it. Ignorance may deride it. But in the end, the truth will remain the truth. Pull up the information ministry's shabby uh, press release for me. Just like the, that of the health ministry and the antiretroviral matter. They released the, the, uh, the, the, the thing at 12 something a.m. As if they were thieves breaking into a house through the back door. Read this. It says the Ministry of Information on Saturday, October 7, 2023, made a report to the Ghana Police Service to intervene in an incident at the studios of UTV, a private TV station in Accra. This followed reports to the Media Monitoring Center of the Ministry that a group of persons had entered UTV studio allegedly without authorization. You are seeing video, Kojo Upon Kruma, journalist Kojo Upon Kruma, you are seeing videos. You yourself pick up the phone to call. You are saying alleged. You see incontrovertible video and evidence. You say, boss, you'll be cobra. You'll be cobra. That, when the woman said, a cobra, that's what he meant. You are seeing videos. You pick up the phone to call. You say, it is alleged. When the matter happened at Dagbon, in Dagbon, the Dagbon TV, did you use alleged? You said it was an assault. You were definite. When it comes to your party, you are different. When it comes to other people's party, the NDC, you are okay. But you forget that you are minister for information for all of us, not minister for information for MPP people, not for hoodlums and hooligans. Now you say the police has arrested, blah, blah, blah. Check out the last paragraph. It said the ministry wishes to encourage the media, especially broadcast media show hosts and panelists to do their utmost to help promote national cohesion, even as they exercise their fundamental human rights. So you are pushing the pressure now onto the media. Is Dana Samoa not a sworn MPP person? Does she not appear on that show? Is Socrates Safu not a sworn MPP person? Does she not appear on the show? Is Fred Timmons not a sworn MPP person? Does he not appear on the show? I can go on and give you a tall list. So what is your obsession? If an A plus is a confessed MPP person, because A plus was the one who was putting all the people in the arts together. To do campaign for Nanado. Who brought Lumba and Kabina Kabina and the rest to, to the MPP campaign at Akraken at the Mammoth Rally? It was a plus. Suddenly, because he's speaking truth to power, you don't like him. Suddenly, you don't like him. Now, now we are watching you. We have reported criminal libel. Blah, 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 blah. Now, under, under this Fourth Republic, it is elements of your government and friends of the government. And those who are related to the government who have sued media people more than anybody and every time the template is they're asking for 10 million cities the registry is there you can go and check from the court registry we will prove criminal libel law somebody says something about your wife that is not true then they use national security to go and pick the person up then now your party writes to to what do you call it a station to say alter your program and i said i must i wouldn't be surprised if there's been written all across when all these things were happening what did kojo upon Kruma do did he write this rubbish for, for national cohesion? Did he do that? As the ministry responsible for, for, for supervising the media, what, what did he do when his party wrote that rubbish of a letter? As a lawyer, did he not know Article 162 existed? The president is a lawyer. Did he not know Justin Kodia from Pond, the, the party secretary is a lawyer? Did he not know Article 162? I just read to you what the constitution says. So how would you have hoodlums like this and they feel proud to say we are MPP? When did MPP denigrate into the ground like that? MPP was an attractive party. An attractive party of elites. Today you have dropped it, descended so low that you think that having hoodlums and people breaking into people's place, beating people up and all of that, and you, you used to associate that with the PNDC. You were just not happy about situations because you were victims. Now you have become victors and you are visiting even worse on the people. Shame on you. Good morning.
Water is life. Water gives life. Water moves through nature in a never-ending cycle. Observe the beauty of water as it flows.